today we are going to discuss our the concept of TQM. So basically speaking, what is TQM? TQM is it a technique or is it a philosophy? It looks like a technique and it also looks like a philosophy. So you decide and let me know after I explain to you. In TQM, Total Quality Management, there are three things that you must remember. And this is a very key and important subject and is very popular among university and college on the concept of TQM. And it's likely to come up in most exam. So pay, pay attention. In TQM, we have what we call the three, the five, and the ten. For well, there are three philosophy. There are five approach, and there are ten elements within the TQM. So, basically speaking, what is TQM? TQM is based on the philosophy of continuous improvement. Japanese call it a Kaizen. And in TQM, there is a philosophy of everybody are involved in TQM. Not only the quality inspector. The third philosophy is the goal of the TQM is customer satisfaction. So if you are along this area, then you're safe when we talk about TQM. So in a nutshell, is CI, continuous improvement, BE, everybody's job, and CS, customer satisfaction. Let me explain about the key approach on TQM. So there are five. The first which we need to discuss is the customer warm must be find out by the company. If the, if the company do not know what customer want, then TQM cannot work. So how do you get to know what customer want? They are very simple method like just visit the customer, talk to them, interview, focus group, survey, anything you think can get some information, camera at your counter. All these are important things that you have to do to get what the customer want. Why do we need to know the customer want? Because if you don't know what they want, you cannot give them what they want. In terms of customer, we have what we have mentioned before, the voice of a customer, the house of quality. We'll go at length when we come along. So mostly we are talking about so many things, internal customer, work as a team, marketing, serving the customer, Customer is the external customer. But in terms of internal customer, the production, the human resource, and everybody within the company that's are involved in serving customer is an internal customer. They have to work in the team. Next is the approach of designing a product or service that meet or exceed customer expectation. So how do you do it, right? You give what customer want. Some, you, you also give them what they don't know what they want. For example, Steve Jobs, know that customer always unplug it without switching off the iPod. So what do they do? They know customer want this. They, 
they design a system whereby they just pull out the headphone and the iPod will cut it by itself. This is a system whereby we give what customer want. And in the iPod 3, customer don't know what they want, but Apple still under the range of uh, Steve Jobs. Give them what they don't think they can want. Like kind of a slide across the screen without using the pointer, using his sensor. Just let me show you this. Samsung come out a product whereby when they open, the tablet is on. When they close, the tablet will automatically cut off. So this is exactly what customer want. And this is what Samsung give, right? Because very often, they close off the tablet cover without switch off the pain. So they drain off the battery. The third is uh, design process that facilitated did facilitate doing the job right the first time. So we're talking about quality as source and try not to make mistake. If possible, zero mistake. Next is the keep track of the result. How do you keep track of the result? As for the Japanese company, you continue, continue to challenge the process improvement. Not necessarily means spending money, but just every day thinking about how to improve the process, how to keep record of the process. Like Motorola, Japanese company, measure anything they move. How did they keep track of this? They will measure the step movement of your floor plan and they will analyze it so much so that they will put a factory or the office layout in such that if you are nearer to the customer, you should be sitting nearer to the customer. And if you are a manager, you don't move too much to the customer, you should sit at the back. And if the pantry and the toilet is a fast movement area, everybody visit all the time. It should be somewhere in the center. Then measure, keep redesign so that even the floor plan is an issue of your process. Next is uh, extend the concept to the supplier. We know about warm up using EDI, electronic data integration. When the so-called uh, barcode was clicked, it sent to the supplier's uh, office and the supplier will know exactly how many color t-shirt, how many color and what type of color t-shirt is selling most this month. And they will plan for six months and based on your EDI exchange data, they will immediately do their plan. We don't have to go to the marketing. We don't have to discuss. Based on this data, they will be empowered the supplier will be empowered to make the schedule and inform them the number of uh, so-called, in this case is the shirt, how many black t-shirt they should make for the past six months. So these are the five approach that you have to be careful when you are talking about uh, TQM. Next, we will talk into the 10 element. What was the 10 element? And what is that? What are the 10 element? First, we have to be careful of what we call the Kaizen, continuous improvement. So every company must continue to improve. They are not kind of uh, keen on the major improvement. They will, and they're very keen on a step-by-step -step improvement. So 
So in DQF, we are talking about Kaizen, continuous improvement. So what to improve? All the four M's. Material, method, man means people, resources means money. So every day, they are looking into which way to improve the process of these four M's. So next is the competitive benchmark. What do you mean by competitive benchmark? For example, Xerox look into LL Beans. LL Bean is a mere order company and they are very uh, they so called they are an expert on this uh, order milling system means order taking so zero follow their pattern so competitive benchmarking in a sense means you identify other organization that have the best at something and then you use that concept to improve your process. The process of total process of milling system will not be the same as Xerox selling a protocol to machine. But the concept of ordering can be taken from LL bin since they are experts on this area. <clears throat> Next we will talk a little bit about empowerment. Employ empowerment. So what does it mean by employee empowerment? What are the advantage? You see, when you give some people some power to do the job, they will take it that you physically trust them. You give them responsibility, you work harder because they can enrich the job, learn something, take control of the situation where they know best and at the same time, the boss did not, or the top management or the management itself, did not micromanage them. So this is a motivation by itself, taking the responsibility, pass the responsibility down to the lowest rank. Why? Because people who are near the job know best to do the job. So empowerment is very important because it's the motivating factors and empowerment somehow or other will improve the morale of your staff because they have control and they have pride on the job that they are doing. Next, I need to talk a little bit about teamwork. Teamwork is talking about consensus. Talking about group synergy. And as Japanese have put it, Decision making are on a group consensus. That's why they have a rangy system where everybody must be agreed upon before they do the job. And just let me give you an experience of my past working with Japanese. When I give a presentation for over a uh, an hour, the Japanese will just look at it, didn't ask question, and just said they will consider. So I wait, and you know the result wasn't very uh, attractive to me. I mean, somehow or other, it means that my presentation and the way I asked for certain things will not be approved. Again, on the same note, I pre present another case which I thought I do not have the means to get it approved. I just speak for less than two minutes before I go on to a few more points to illustrate to them how important this kind of project has to be done. They say, okay, on start, stop. So, 
What is that so? This means that Japanese already make 